let's talk about what's actually tested in the SAT subject testing chemistry. What topics are they going to uh, give you questions on? So I took this from the uh, subject tests website uh, from the College Board. You can get this also in the blue book. has a copy of this too. And it basically gives you the breakdown of the kinds of questions and what approximate percentage of the test these topics represent. So the biggest topic of all is structure of matter. So these are things like atomic structure, uh, molecular structure, and bonding. So everything that holds together atoms and molecules. Um, so obviously a really important one. Uh, the next is states of matter. So this includes, of course, gases, liquids, and solutions, and solids. And this represents about 16% of the total. The next is your reaction types. So this includes your acids and bases, your redox chemistry, and precipitation. Uh, so this kind of goes as well with the solution stuff. You're going to need to know the solutions before a lot of this stuff makes sense as well. The next 14% is stoichiometry. So this is, you know, mole ratios. Um, they even include uh, chemical equations, balancing, percent yield, all that kind of stuff is under stoichiometry. Then we get into the little minor topics. So we have a little bit on equilibrium and rates and reaction, which is kind of surprising because usually these are pretty uh, big topics in even a regular high school class. But notice it's only 5%, so it's not huge. In addition, thermochemistry is not huge either. It's only 6%. Now, of course, combined, they're 11%. It's a decent chunk. Uh, but notice it's not as important as the fundamentals, stoichiometry, reaction types, bonding, that kind of thing. There's a little bit about descriptive chemistry. So this is what I label as the factoids of the test. These are just little tricks and facts and pieces of information that you need to know. So an example is uh, transition elements form colored solutions is an example of just a factoid you need to know. And when we go through the questions, I'm going to highlight to you the various factoids that you should commit to memory. You can make flashcards, you can write them down, do whatever you do to have to learn them. Uh, but you need to know them in order to get these questions right. This includes things like trends, which isn't really so much a factoid. It's something you definitely need to know. Uh, names. But things like reactivity, prediction, uh, even some organic chemistry, stuff of, for environmental chemistry, just little details like that. And the last 8% is your laboratory questions. So a lot of this is going to be based on things like titration, collection of gases, um, laboratory safety even, things like that, procedures and laboratory. So... These are things that, you know, if you haven't done labs or done a lot of labs in your class, it may be a little bit tough to get them. So you might want to do some review there. But again, I'll point out when we go through the questions, particularly questions that are in this laboratory section. Now, finally, if this seems like a lot, it's because it is. And you actually don't remember, you don't need 100% familiarity, familiarity with all the topics. If you get, uh, you know, six right, I mean, sorry, excuse me, if you get only like four or five wrong, you can still get an 800 most of the time. Um, approximately. So you can get a few wrong and still get an 800. You can get a lot wrong and still get a 700 plus, get an above average score. Because they know when they design this test, they can't figure out what every student in the country or even out of the country has learned in their chemistry class. So they sample a wide range of topics and they assume that most students who are well prepared are going to get most of them right and therefore get a high score. So don't freak out if you don't know all this stuff. We're of course going to review these topics throughout the question. So you'll get a good overview. Uh, but remember, you don't need to be perfect in order to get a really good score. So just keep that in mind.